Hey guys, it's SD. Well, been a little over 24 hours, and I got the uh, stator out of the mold. It put up quite a bit of a fight. Uh, came out pretty good. I decided I've got a few little places where uh, I need to uh, fill in where there's a few little air bubbles. And I gotta get this thing sanded. I just popped it out of the uh, mold. This is exactly how it came out looking. Um, uh, up here and, and all these holes here, I should have uh, used uh, something different besides the automotive polish because it's still the when I clamped everything down the uh, epoxy resin oozed up through these holes and I didn't have any wax on there so it pretty much destroyed that one part of the mold so I've got to make another piece for the mold and just basically build it again but uh, all these release pretty pretty easy uh, each one of these holes nothing cracked or anything by each of the mount holes so uh, later on after I get it cleaned up I'll go ahead and put it on here and go ahead and put the blades on here and just spin it by hand and see what kind of uh, output we get from it before we uh, uh, get everything else built I still got to uh, get some uh, flat stock and uh, put the uh, assembly together that's going to hold the wing uh, I've got to do it with my buddy Alan we're going to go over an equation and I'll try to attach that equation but it basically tells you uh, <clears throat> With whatever size blades you're using, whatever diameter of the overall diameter of the uh, blades are, that dictates how far from the center of this uh, mount back this way, how far your vein is, and then also how many square inches your tail needs to be. And the reason for that is your blades will start spinning and starts picking up speed and starts hitting a stronger wind, and this whole setup will actually turn parallel to the wind if your tail is not big enough and the vein is not long enough. Some guys counteract it using weights and other different methods and stuff, but the actual equation will tell you how long your vein needs to be with uh, how many square inches your tail surface is, and that by itself will keep your uh, blades facing into the wind. Okay. Anyway, again, stator came out pretty good. It's not too bad. We got nine coils in it, 100 wraps on each coil. We got uh, three per phase. And I'll go ahead and post this video and some notes and stuff about uh, the release agent. I probably should have used maybe some axle grease inside where these uh, bolts went through and really coated it down before I even put the bolts in there. But uh, you know how it gets. You get in a little bit of a hurry and think it's going to be good enough. And that uh, epoxy resin bonds a lot stronger than uh, the fiberglass resin you get in uh, Home Depot. So anyway, she came out pretty good and uh, we'll keep on working on this project. We'll see you guys later. All right, bye.